Hello cookbook friends, my name is Carrie with Cookbook Divas, and it's autumn here in the Pacific Northwest, and that makes me hungry for Italian food. So I picked up this cookbook, Laura in the Kitchen, Favorite Italian American Recipes Made Easy by Laura Vital Vitali. Sorry if I said that wrong. Ooh, we're off to a good start. Now I'm hungry for tomatoes. The publisher is Clarkson Potter don't know the year. Let me check. 2018 or 19? Why did they put it in such a small font? I gotta get my grandma glasses. 15. I don't know. They need to write that bigger. Okay, let's check out the table of contents. Welcome to my kitchen. Pantry basics. Quick fix suppers. Leisurely entrees. That's right up my alley. Super simple salads and sides. Irresistible desserts. The cookie jar. And at the end, easy breakfast and brunches. Oh wow, that's usually at the beginning. Cool. Okay. Welcome to my kitchen. <sighs> Pantry basics. Basic recipes, marinara sauce, tomato passata, basil pesto, Italian seasoning. And now we jump in to quick fix suppers. Ooh, weeknight minestrone. Fresh tomato soup. That would be the first thing I make out of this. Yum. And it's vegetarian. Easy butternut squash soup with crispy sage leaves. That sounds nice. I don't have time to crisp my sage, but I do grow it. Fatouche with grilled chicken. Greek meatballs in pita. Hey, I thought this was an Italian cookbook. Ah, that's okay. Ciabatta steak sandwich with arugula. Spaghetti cacio e pepe. Bote pasta with peas, ham, and gorgonzola. Definitely a classic. Calamari puttanesca. Ooh. Tortellini with pink parmesan sauce. That would be the second thing I make out of this book. But I feel like I should skip ahead to another chapter because I can't show you the whole book. That's not fair to the author. Just trying to give you a little tempting peek at it. Sausage and clams with tomatoes. Grilled flank steak with chimichurri. Love the food photography in this book. I like the layout. It's clean. It's easy to read except for the copyright notice at the beginning of the book that was tiny. Leisurely entrees. Clam and corn chowder. The ultimate Italian beef and pastina soup. Pastina? Don't know how to say that. Gorgeous bolognese. My boyfriend wishes I would make that tonight. But nope, it's Taco Tuesday. How about tagliatelle with mushroom ragu? Spinach and artichoke stuffed shells. Definitely leisurely entrees take a lot more time than the first chapter of the book, but fair enough. The easiest ever broccoli mac and cheese break, bake. Man, if I tried to put broccoli in my kids' mac and cheese, they'd be like, <laughs> no. Cornbread dumpling topped chili. Yes, that sounds delicious. Rice and bean enchiladas. I thought this was an Italian cookbook. <laughs> okay, and this is some kind of chip, chicken and vegetables with dumplings or biscuits on top. Eggplant parm bake. Nana stuffed peppers. Roasted chicken cacciatore. That's a lot of work, definitely worth it. Herbs de Provence roasted chicken. Okay, Herbs de Provence is French, but I, okay. <laughs> Super simple salads and sides. Spicy black beans, red cabbage and bacon slaw. Fennel and orange salad, nice for winter time. Minty pea salad, nice for spring. Balsamic roasted beets, mmm, I need to make those. Cannellini beans with pancetta and spinach. Uh, shortcut crispy Old Bay fries. Yum. And I like that you had me at shortcut. Wild rice pilaf. Roasted garlic polenta. And, ooh, I think we're in the dessert chapter. What just happened? How did that happen? Let me go look. I'm not complaining. Jammy creme brulee. Oh, here we go. That's what I wanted to show you. Okay. I don't know what that dessert is. Toffee apple crumble. Hazelnut tiramisu. No bake Nutella cheesecake. Red velvet cupcakes. Mama's baba al rum. Now let's jump into the breakfast section, shall we? Cranberry rolls. Ooh, I want to show you those. Beautiful. Imagine that at Christmas time. Maybe not as the main fancy dinner, but for breakfast. Easy breakfast and brunches, speaking of which. Baked eggs, 
Blini with smoked salmon and scrambled eggs. Tiny little picture. Okay. Now here's a gorgeous picture. One pan egg breakfast. Mmm. Love it. Italian eggs benedict. What makes it Italian? Egg yolks, lemon, butter, cayenne pepper, white vinegar, eggs, ciabatta, butter, ah, prosciutto and arugula. That makes it Italian. Okay. Frisee salad with poached eggs and bacon dressing. Cheddar bacon waffles. Not sure that's Italian, but you would love eating it anyway. Cinnamon rolls, Italian donuts, and let's end with the Dutch baby with lemon, mascarpone, and berries. Very Italian dessert. This is an awesome little cookbook. I'm definitely going to put this on my front shelf where I actually grab cookbooks to cook out of and don't just hoard them. It's Laura in the Kitchen by Laura Vitelli. Very, very nice cookbook. I recommend it. Thanks for watching. You can see more of our cookbook look-throughs and reviews at cookbookdivas.com website. We have a podcast. We're on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, of course, and sometimes on Pinterest. Bye!